but Jesus and Jesus only. The Bible mentions one God. I believe Paul instructed the church at Ephesus, one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. I am baptized in Jesus' name. I worship the one God whose name is Jesus. Now, we're going to call our panelists up, and we're going to have... Uh, Evangelist Willis, Evangelist Smith, Evangelist Wagner, Daughter Brooks, Evangelist Evans, and Daughter Chris on the panel. Amen. And uh, as the panel comes forward to this evening, the text we are picking up from Wednesday. Now, those who are on the review, the Elder Wagner, Elder Brooks, Minister Marshall, and uh, Brother, Brother Wade, Adam, Adam, and uh, Minister Kevin will be on the review. Now, again, uh, while the panel is being seated, our main text was from Ezekiel 22, 25 and 26. There was a conspiracy of her prophets in the midst. Now again, prophet means uh, spiritual leaders. God said there's a conspiracy or a gathering of more than one to conspire against God and his ordinance. They have put no difference between holy and profane. Anytime you go to a church and the church does not express that there is a right and there is a wrong, you need to leave away from that church. 
Now, again, he says in verse 26, Her priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy thing. The preachers have violated my instructions and profaned my holy things or his divine scriptures. Now, uh, let's turn to Romans, uh, the first chapter. And here is God again, his instruction concerning male and female. Now we're going to pick up in verse 21. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. When God was on earth, they did not respect him for his deity. When God sent his word, they don't respect the word for being the living word of God in the scriptures. Read. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imagination. They teach what they want to teach because of their own personal ideology. But you have no ideology when it comes to the divine creator. You have to teach what he has instructed for you to teach according to his word, which is recorded again in the Holy Scriptures. Uh, verse 22. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools uh -huh. and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Read. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness, uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts. They made no difference between right and wrong. To uncleanness, uh-huh. Through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Anytime two men want to get in bed with each other, they're dishonoring their own body. Anytime two lesbians want to get in bed with each other. They're dishonoring their own body. Amen. Again, there is a code that nature gave all of God's creation. And that is male and female. Yeah. You find it in horses, cattle, dogs, cats, rabbits, uh, chicken, uh, no matter what you go to, squirrels. They have a male and a female. And they are not confused. When it comes time for the mating season, you can't keep them apart. Amen. Amen. And they know where to go. Man will look for another man unless it's to fight him to get to the female. Praise God. Now, the same time pass, if you put two male horses in a paddock with a female horse, they will literally fight each other to death for the privilege of having the normal relationship that God gives each and every male and each and every female to have with each other. Now I'm saying this. The world is caught up in a dilemma to where they don't know right from wrong. Amen. So God raised up a church to be a guiding light to those who are truly seeking after righteousness. Now, uh, again, over the news uh, yesterday, America is trying to cut off aid to the nation of Uganda and Africa because they refuse to legalize sodomy. Amen. And America is trying to pressure them into changing that law. And they are steadfast. Amen. Now sooner or later, they're going to have to bend because a starving third world country Unless God puts something in those preachers over there and in those leaders that they look past money and see the face of God. Amen. So I'm saying to those preachers in uh, Uganda, now I just watched briefly. I don't want to get into doctrine. Amen. But one thing I do support is your stand on Saturday. Amen. I'm with you Amen. 100%. Amen. I am with you. I pray for you yeah. that you hold